Welcome everyone to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about our Python project tax 0x00 or uh, Python hello world. So um, so we are going to be looking on some certain basics. Um, I promise to cut this uh, for each tax. So uh, I know that the quiz is no big deal to do. So the tax is the main thing. So the purpose of this is for learning. So I'm here to explain to us uh, most of those things that we need to know when it comes to uh, Python or uh, file and all the stuff like that, which we are going to be doing. So. Um, the first thing we need to do is write a shell script that runs a Python uh, script. So uh, you can check on introduction to this thing, but we are starting with the basics, which is running a Python file. So every Python file ends with an extension of py. py is an uh, extension we use uh, whenever you see um, um, main.py. Um, heaven.py, uh, holyghost.py, me.py, you.py, whatever at all you want to name that file, then it ends with an extension py, so you know that that is a Python file, um, which is very important to know that, so we can run the file directly, uh, but in this case, we are not running the file directly, actually I'm going to run directly, so you're going to see what it means to run a file directly, um which is very important uh, that's the most important thing to run that file uh, but uh in this tax we are exporting whatever our code is whatever the file is into a variable uh, and store it in that variable so we're gonna create a variable which is uh py file py file with uh dollar sign at the beginning uh so that's what we're going to do. We're going to be storing it inside a variable called py file. So uh, um, in variable, there is a dollar sign there. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we are going to copy all of this. So actually, the, the, what they mean here is assuming that this is our terminal, uh, our terminal starting from here and here, and we check we do cut then we say main.py so main.py simply means that inside the main.py when you cut it when you check what is inside the file you are going to see these codes inside this uh, box of code inside that file so that is what we're going to be seeing inside there so uh, and after that we are going to export uh, some stuff uh, into a f variable called main.py then we are going to create a file which is this that is going to be run to execute the uh, um, best school and that's it that's what we're going to be doing for the whole of this project so and that is that so the first thing is we are going to be creating a repository so i'm not going to show you how to uh, create a repo using your github so that is less for you but my main focus here is just for uh, python alone so i'm going to copy this so this is my new repository that i've just created so i'm just going to copy that for the repository then inside this repository we have a directory called uh, python um, 0x0-python-hello world then we should have a file called 0-run so that's that so um, without wasting much time i'm gonna open my terminal so we start our coding uh, so i'm gonna start a new session so this is a new session oh, well, let me go away from here and cd dot dot so i'm gonna clear so if i check what we have here you discover that we have a desktop uh, here over there so in that desktop file i'm going to navigate inside the desktop file i'm sorry the desktop like that uh, 
sorry uh, desktop like that so I want to check what we have inside there so I'm just gonna say ls so we only have index.html and whistle so I'm gonna remove everything there because I don't want those stuff there so if we check again we see that we have an empty desktop there's nothing there so I'm just gonna clear so this is what we have we are inside the desktop uh, um, folder so inside the desktop folder I'm going to create um, what I just said the repository there inside our desktop so to create a repository we say make directory so I'm gonna create a directory there so I'm gonna paste this there and hit enter so when you say ls automatically we have ALX high level programming which is the um, repository we are working with so you discover how you can link this to your github repository i think i have a video on that or maybe later on i might decide to create another video uh, on how to link your local to the one to, on the server um, so that you work um, with your github from your local machine so which is very important so i'm going to see the inside the alx whatever i've created so i'm going to hit enter so when you check this you see that we don't have any damn thing there so the next thing that i want to be doing here is in this um and desktop slash alx um high level programming um we have just created i'm going to create another directory inside this so i'm going to call the name so let me go and see what i'm going to call that name so um i'm going to be calling the name 0x0 you can see this i'm just going to copy that 0x00 dash python dash hello world like that so and that is what we will be doing so i just going to say make directory like that make directory and i'm going to paste whatever we have in there and i'm just going to hit enter so uh, if i clear my screen and check what we have there you see we only have the first um directory there which is 0x00 python hello world so um, i'm going to navigate inside that uh, um, 0x0 python hello world that i've just created which is this one um so if you have been um this far uh please make sure you smash the like button subscribe to my channel um god bless you and also share it uh um, very important to your friends to your group and wherever you can share it so um the most basic aim here is running a python file so we are going to create a python file which is going to be um, um i'm going to use a vim editor so i'll just say vi or vim whichever one so i can put there and i'm going to create a python file which is main.py like that and i'm just going to hit enter so this is my editor where i can type my code so i'll enter my insert mode my insert mode then i'm going to type whatever that was provided here so uh this was what that was provided which is all this bunch of stuff here so uh, a python 3 in a bin we should look for a python 3 to execute uh, uh bring that in that's a bash file then that means we are dealing with a python file then the next one is print best school so um, best school is going to be printed out on our console so which is a, a very important thing to discuss about print so um, just like echo that we have been using just like print f uh, and all those stuff so this is going to be printing stuff to our console which is very important to know so uh, I'm just gonna paste that here so i'm gonna paste that here so you see what we have in here so i'm gonna escape then i'm gonna save and quit and when you check that you see we only have main.py uh inside our repository 
uh, or a directory we have created inside the repository so I'm just gonna clear the screen like that now after clearing the screen the next thing I'm going to be doing is I want to execute that file to see if it works so to check to see if it works it's very simple I just put Python uh, Python then after the Python I'm gonna put the name of the file main dot py like that and I'm going to hit enter and you can see it has been executed it's printed best school you can see that it printed best school by just putting a Python and putting main dot uh, py let me zoom out so you see the whole stuff there uh, sorry okay so you can see I just type Python then the name of the file so to execute any Python file you type Python first then after Python you type the name of the file and whatever code that is there is going to be executed on the screen like this so we have best code printed on our terminal so that is that but in this case we are going to store whatever is the outcome of this main.py inside a variable called py file and how can we do that you say export we want to export whatever a result is inside a variable called py so we'll say export then it puts py file like that then you put equals to then you put um, the name of the file there which is uh, here we have main.py main.py so you can see that uh, just hit enter and that is it so we have exported that into this file so if I want to check if these have been successfully exported so instead of me saying python then main.py instead i will now say python like this then instead of putting main.py as i did previously to get this best school yeah i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna say python then the name of this variable that i have just created which is uh pi file so instead i'm gonna put a dollar sign because it's a variable um, just like um, p, um, 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 PHP, PHP language. So you, to declare a variable, use uh, um, a dollar sign to do that. So I'm going to say pi file like that. So pi file, and I hit enter, and you see it gives me the same result, best code. So even though I do that of Python main dot py, it still give me the same result and even if i do that of variable py file it still give me the same result now we want to save this instead of us putting it here directly on the terminal we want to save it inside a file called run zero dash run so if you can look through this you see that we have a file named called zero dash run so that's what we're going to be doing so zero dash run so let's see how that goes so i'm going to open my terminal then i'm going to create a file call zero dash run so i'm going to say vim of vim inside the zero sorry zero dash run just like that and i'm going to hit my enter and uh, our VM terminal is open with a new file being created 0 1. So I'm just going to be inside my insert mode. Now, inside that insert mode, what am I going to do? I am going to, because I'm running a shell, so I'm going to put um, dollar sign um, ash. Uh, I just pray I should remember the this thing. Um, slash bean slash bash i think just like this 
if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So the next thing is I'm going to put the command file there. So you know that we run Python, then we run the name of the variable we have created. So I'm just going to put Python there. Then the name of the variable I just created, which is um, dollar sign, then uh, P, sorry, capital letter P Y um, F I L E, like that. So I'm going to escape and I'm going to uh, save this. So, like that. So, I'm going to clear my screen. So, if I list, we see we have two files. 0 dash run then main and this thing so let me try to execute that to see if it is executable on this white node because normally i need to change the permission mode but if it works without changing the permission mode good and fine so i'm gonna put dot then a slash then run like that sorry zero dash run i mean run like that so Okay, so permission denied. So I'm going to give it a permission to be executed. And how can I create that permission? It's just to change mode. C-H-M-O-D. Uh, change mode. And users plus X. So um, all the user, um, the user should have power to execute. That's the X stands for execute. Then I'm going to put that file, which is 0 whatever dash run so i have changed it so if we check it again you see that the color has changed to something um um, blue, um sorry green or lemon so now it's kind of executable so i put dot then slash and i put zero dash run like that okay so we are having issue here which is uh being bash uh stuff so let me go and check on this head to see if i can rectify that so okay so i discovered that i made a mistake which i'm gonna rectify here from the code so um we have zero dash run here and in that zero dash run uh let me enter it and rectify that so um, we have this dash like that so i'm gonna open that so up here where i am the arch symbol which is the ash comes before the exclamation mark so i'm gonna put that here like this so uh, uh let me see if this works uh so uh So I'm going to execute that again, dash, slash, zero, to see. Okay, so this works finally. So we have best score, which is printed out to our console. So you can, um, you can go over the video again to understand the whole concept we have discussed in this video. So thank you for watching. Please, again, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And have a nice day. God bless you.